Good afternoon and welcome to Eagle Eye News. I'm Kaylee Bishop. And I'm Ellie McCoy. ESPN released a report claiming that an Auburn University mentor took at least one online final exam for a football player of the 2016 team. The alleged fraud was discovered after the player had a perfect score on the final exam, just a few weeks into the course. The university released a statement refuting many of ESPN's claims about the story, which reads in part, the allegation made in the ESPN story is false based on our review to date. The person making the accusation was a part-time employee placed on administrative leave in late August. She is making claims not supported by facts. And based on what ESPN told us this morning, before the story came out, she keeps changing her story. Neither she nor her attorney or our investigation have produced anything to support her claims. Neither has ESPN. The university has hired a Birmingham law firm to further investigate the allegations. No names of anyone involved have been released. The university says that the player is not currently on the team and had come back to the university to finish his degree. A young girl drowned this Saturday behind Brewster's Real Ice Cream, located on East University Drive in Auburn. Three-year-old Sadie Grace Andrews was seen on surveillance tapes playing with her siblings when she fell into an in-ground grease trap, according to police. When police arrived, Andrews was unresponsive, and the family and Brewster's employees were performing CPR. She was rushed to East Alabama Medical Center, where she was later pronounced dead. A statement posted on Brewster's front window reads, The entire Brewster's family is horribly saddened by this tragic accident. Auburn University has announced three finalists to fill Provost Timothy Boosinger's position. Nicholas Giordano, George Flowers, and Bill Hardgrave are all semifinalists for the positions. All three of them currently serve as university deans. Giordano is over College of Science and Mathematics, Flowers leads the graduate school, and Hardgrave leads the Raymond J. Harvard College of Business. The three candidates will host open forums this week and next. Boosinger is expected to retire in early 2018. After the break, a look at some of Auburn's lifetime achievers. But first, here's this week's weather. You're watching Eagle Eye TV. This is a place where it only takes a second to imagine your future. Grasp a new concept in class. Inspire a child's curiosity. Discover a real-world solution. Seize an unexpected opportunity. There goes Davis. This is where you gain the preparation, confidence, and determination to succeed. This is Auburn. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide and go seek. University is launching a new program to provide opportunities for students with intellectual disabilities or have a college experience. The Education to Accomplish Growth in Life Experiences for Success program, or EAGLES for short, will focus on providing independent leadership and employment and developmental skills for students. The program is expected to launch in fall 2018 with six students who will live on campus. The Auburn Alumni Association has named four recipients to receive the Lifetime Achievement Award as well, as one recipient to receive the Young Alumni Achievement Award. The recipients include an NBA Hall of Famer, a former president of Women's Health Initiatives for Johnson & Johnson, and two inductees to the State of Alabama, Alabama Engineering Hall of Fame, Charles Barkley, Melanie Barstad, Charles Gavin, and Keith King are all set to receive this award this March. The Lifetime Achievement Award is the Auburn Alumni Association's highest honor. 
The Auburn Alumni Association will also be giving the Young Alumni Achievement Award to Dr. Erica Stringer Reeser, a faculty member at the University of Alabama at Birmingham School of Medicine since 2015. This award recognizes extraordinary achievements by members of the Auburn family age 40 and under. The recipients will be recognized at the hotel at Auburn University and Dixon Conference Center on March 3rd. If you need help getting into the Halloween spirit, the city of Auburn and the Davis Arboretorium may have a solution. Friday Night Frights takes place every Friday night in October, providing Halloween movies for the community to view. If you have missed out so far, you can still be a part of the fun for the next two Friday nights. Florida Governor Rick Scott declared Alachua County in a state of emergency in response to white nationalist Richard Spencer planning to speak at the University of Florida this Thursday, October 19th. This state of emergency was put into place to ensure that students and the community as a whole will remain safe. Richard Spencer spoke locally on Auburn's campus in the spring of 2017. While some students attended the event, hundreds of others peacefully protested. Three were arrested, but there were no major threats. The University of Florida's meeting remained scheduled as planned. After the break, a look at TV Spotlight for one of the local Auburn chefs. Here's a look at what's coming up this week. You're watching Eagle Eye TV, Auburn's news leader. your attention to the flagpole for a special presentation. You never really leave Auburn, because Auburn never leaves you. So, I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. I hope that you've been able to learn a strong work ethic surrounded by character, integrity, perseverance, so that when your one second comes, you'll be prepared for it. Chris Davis. 45, there goes Davis! Your one second, our one second is now. And our lives have been guided by the principles of one of the greatest academic institutions in the country, Auburn University. local restaurant chef will appear on Food Network later this year. Chef David Bancroft of Acre Restaurant will compete on Iron Chef Showdown on December 27th. There will be a viewing party at the restaurant. The downtown restaurant is known for its locally sourced meat, its on-site gardens, and orchards. Have you ever eaten there before? Yeah, actually, uh, I think I was there a couple weekends ago and I had the cheese board and it was so good. So I'm excited to see how he's going to incorporate, you know, all of his different meals into the show and everything. It'll definitely be interesting. Mm -hmm. If you would like to join the conversation, please use the hashtag Eagle Eye TV on Instagram and Twitter. That's all that we have for you this afternoon. Check our website, eagleeyeauburn.com, for all of the latest Auburn news throughout the week. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Eagle Eye TV. I'm Ellie McCoy. And I'm Kaylee Bishop. Thanks for joining us and War Eagle.